Hi, it's Adam from Affinity Energy again. Uh, here today to talk about the Schweitzer Engineering Lab Real-Time Automation Controller, or the SEL RTAC as it's more commonly known. It's just a PLC with some capabilities that go a little beyond what a normal PLC does and is more suitable for a substation environment, which makes it great for a solar or power, uh, solar power or power application. It's got more communications capabilities. Not only does it have an excellent execution engine, but it's really handy at configuring drivers to go and get information from devices. Early in my solar career, the RTAC was used in substations primarily as a data concentrator. It would go out and get the critical information from the various devices around the site, pull it all into one place so that our monitoring system or our customer's off-site telemetry system could go to the RTAC, pull the data that it needed, and get it off the, off the site for their own logging or monitoring purposes. So it did a great job at that, but I've come to understand that it can do so much more. It can act as the PLC, as the plant controller in solar power plants. So it's uh, got a pretty sophisticated engine. It can do relay ladder logic. It can do function charts. It can do sort of state diagram type control. Uh, we're using it in the field where we have to do a couple different functions, whether it's ramp rate control for inverters, active power curtailment, or uh, power factor control. Uh, it's good at connecting to other substation devices, pulling data in, and then executing some logic and sending the commands out to the devices in the field. It's got a lot of communications capabilities. Not only does it support the popular protocols like the Modbus protocols, it also supports DNP3, 61850, Goose protocol, a lot of the different protocols that substations and utilities are using for real-time information. Uh, talks iRigB, uh, also has interfaces to things like GPS clocks and all of the full line of uh, Schweitzer automation equipment, so relay control, etc. Um, so it's very flexible in what it can do. It's very fast at what it can do. And it also has built into it some capabilities to even act as an HMI. Uh, it's not as sophisticated as a more traditional rich environment like a Wonderware environment or VT SCADA or uh, Simplicity or Factory Talk View. But if you're trying to get a single line diagram of a substation and the feeders going in and out of a solar power plant, it does that very well. It can do some additional graphics. Uh, like I said, nothing as sophisticated as a traditional HMI, uh, but it's got some great capabilities at a relatively low price. Um, and then the last thing it has is a lot of serial communications interfaces. So if you're trying to reach out into devices that are Modbus RTU or serial communications inside a substation, uh, the SEL RTAC uh, can handle up to, I want to say, 32 different serial uh, ports in the back of it uh, for communications in and out. So you can talk to lots of devices. Uh, so the RTAC is a thing that we're using out in the field for controls. Uh, it's pretty inexpensive. It's widely used in substation equipment, as is all the Schweitzer equipment, so it's very well accepted in the marketplace. Uh, and it provides all of the functionality that we've really required in most of the projects that we've been working on lately. So I just wanted to say, SELR Tech, if you haven't seen it before, check it out. It's great for uh, power plant control.